Ain't no, ain't no other way. Five oh four nation. The reboot. Five oh four nation. With this television show, we will strive to showcase the urban world at its highest by interviewing local professionals and hearing their stories and views on how they became successful. We will build a foundation for our youth to know their past, present, and most important, their future. So today's show is 504 Nation. Ain't no other way. You heard me? Wow. 504 Nation. African TV presents 504 Nation, the reboot. 2020. Control the content we produce. Stay conscious on the seeds we plant. That will be the fruit of our labor. Only produce or be a part of things you're genuinely interested in being a part of. Beta Sigma Fraternity Incorporated from the New Orleans local area. We have multiple chapters representing out here today in support for the Jenna Six. The artwork that you see around you, well around us rather, has been created by students from Warren Eastern Charter High School. This is their petition. This is their protest. Their voices need to be heard because they are aware of what is going on in the world today. I suggest and I urge and I stress to you to fight this injustice because this is not only going to affect them now, but this can possibly set precedent for the future. This is us, ladies and gentlemen, and we have to band together. This is not a black thing. This is not the white thing. This is not an Asian thing nor a Hispanic thing. This is an everybody thing. This is a humanity thing. We need to come together and realize that this ignorance and intolerance can no longer be justified or allowed. We must unite. Thank you. I'm with the Revolutionary Communist Party, and I drove down on a busload of three dozen people from Harlem. We left yesterday morning to come down here to deliver a strong and much more determined message that we're not going to be satisfied. We're not going to stop fighting until all the charges against the Gina Six are dropped and all six of these young men are walking the streets free. That is why we are here. It is an outrage that 2006, there's whites-only trees in a southern high school lawn, that nooses are hung from those trees, and that six young men are facing decades in prison for standing up to this racist outrage. These men are young men are heroes. They should have been commended. They should have been given medals for what they did, because those young people in that church, in that school, when those nooses were hung, dozens of them went out there and stood under those trees in a courageous act of resistance. And in face of that, the district attorney came and he, he came to a school assembly, and this being the rural south, there was whites on one side, blacks on the other, and that district attorney looked straight at those black students and said, you better shut up about these nooses, because I can make your lives disappear with the stroke of a pen. That's what's being concentrated here. Those nooses that were hung from that tree represent the whole history of lynching in this country. And the fact that these young men stood up against it, as I said earlier, they need, should be commended. They should be free and they should be welcomed as heroes. And I just want to say this, you know, you think about these young men facing decades in prison. They've done, Michael Bell has done more time in jail than the cops who murdered Sean Bell. He's done more time in jail than the cops who murdered Amadou Diallo, Diallo several years ago with 30 some odd shots. He's done more time in jail than the commanders who gave the orders to torture people at Abu Ghraib. And I just gotta say this, what's happening here in Gina and what's happening all over this country is proof enough that we need a revolution. 
that this whole system we live under here and around the world is based on exploitation. It's completely worthless, and no good is going to come for the better until there's an overthrow, a revolutionary overthrow of this system. Because you think about it, the Gina Six are facing decades in prison. 2005, 100,000 poor and black people are left to die in New Orleans. Just a few months ago, the Supreme Court overturned Brown versus Board of Education, saying the courts could no longer be used to enforce school desegregation. There's a whole epidemic of police brutality in this country. All of this is just proven once again that this system got nothing to offer people, got nothing, no future for the black youth, nothing but prison or death. And that's why I keep saying this shows there's nothing's good going to come from this system until we overthrow it in revolution. The, the system is completely worthless and, and is based on nothing but exploitation. That's what I got to say. And I think coming out of here, we got to have, we see the real potential for a movement of resistance. There's something happening here in potential that we have not seen in decades in this country. And we need to bring in together of people to resist all these different forms of oppression, bringing all the different people of different nationalities together, resisting while we're preparing for revolution. That's what I think we got to be doing. In our newspaper, Revolution, the voice of the Revolutionary Communist Party at revcom.us, R-E-V-C-O-M.us, every week is bringing people the truth about what this system is doing to people here and around the world, but also how it's possible to actually make a revolution in a country like this. How we could get to a whole better world. Because look, we don't have to live this way. We shouldn't live this way. And we got to do something about it. And that newspaper is showing us how we could bring a whole different world into being where you don't have you know, people of one nationality over another nationality. We don't have these borders separating people. You don't have men dominating women. All this is done away with. And we, the common people, can work in common for the common good. That's what we call communism. And that's the kind of world we need. We need a revolution to get there. Results from protests. The student's conviction were overturned on the grounds that he should have been tried as a juvenile. Before a retrial in juvenile court, he pleaded guilty to a reduced charge of simple battery. The other five defendants later pleaded no contest to the same offense and were convicted. Instead of spending decades in jail, Gen 6 members decided to use their time wisely, enrolled in school, and furthered their education. Each member from the Gen 6 stated this has been a learning experience and something that they will never forget. Five O Four Nation. Ain't no other way. Like, subscribe, or post comment. Thanks. Love, respect, pick one. Like, subscribe, or post comment. Thanks. Love, respect, pick one. Like, subscribe, or post comment. Thanks. Love, respect, pick one. Like, subscribe, or post comment. Thanks. Love, respect, pick one. Ain't no other way. Like, subscribe, or post comment. Thanks. Ain't no other way. Like, subscribe, or post comment. Thanks. Love, respect, pick one. Like, subscribe, or post comment. Thanks. Love, respect, pick one. Ain't no other way.
Five oh four nation. Ain't no, ain't no other way. No other way.